guys, welcome back to my channel. So, oh my god, thank god, it is so good to be back. I'm so happy to be back in filming videos, like I miss doing this. Um, I had the week from hell the past, like, not last week, the week before that. Yeah. Week before that? Yeah, the week before that. Anyway, <laughs> um, finals, they killed me. Like, they really did kill me. I had two cumulative finals that were both very difficult. Um, one I didn't do too great, and the other one was eh. But, um, the other ones went, went well. Um, and then, I'm sorry, I, I couldn't get back on when I wanted to get back on because I came home and then I forgot my softbox lights, all of, like, a lot of my makeup stuff, and, um, I had to go back up there to Binghamton yesterday to move all of my stuff out of my old apartment into my new apartment, and it's just, it was, it's been hell the past couple weeks. Anyway, okay, so this, today's video, I'm going to actually be doing a, um, a drugstore, I don't know how to, what to call this, like a, a drugstore, um, starter kit. You know, for, for younger girls, because I remember when I was starting out in makeup, I had no idea what the hell I was doing. I did not know what was foundation and what concealer was for and why you needed to wear blush and all that lovely jazz. Okay, so let's get started. Um, you know, I know not everybody feels this way about makeup like I do. Um, you know, when you're 12, 13, even 14 years old, you really don't need a lot of makeup. You're still, you really are beautiful the way you are, and your skin is perfect. Like, you don't have any age spots, you don't have dark circles, you don't have sunspots. Like, I have a million sunspots, which I'll get into in another video. That's for not wearing sunscreen. Um, so, um, you don't have any of that, and I don't think that you need a full, thick coverage foundation. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, the first one I'm going to mention is the Smashbox Camera Ready Beauty Cream. Now, you do not need to purchase this one. I know Maybelline makes a great, 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 um, uh, BB cream. It's the blue, it's the blue one, I think. The one in the blue tube. Um, it's great. I used to use it. It's actually the first thing that I put, that I used as, like, a foundation or a, um, or used as a foundation. And then the next product I'm going to mention is obviously my L'Oreal True Match Lumi. This is um, a medium coverage foundation, so I would recommend this for a younger girl because it's not full coverage, but it's not, it's going to give you some coverage. Um, I think it's an awesome foundation. Um, if you're a younger girl, I think this, would, this is a great foundation to start off with. And next I'm going to move on to concealer. Now I don't think a younger girl needs concealer and foundation or concealer and a BB cream. I think honestly one or the other really works. But my two favorites are the Maybelline Age Rewind and the NYX HD Con Creamy Concealer. It's the NYX and then the Maybelline Age Rewind. They're both my favorite. I'm actually out of my other favorite which is the Maybelline Fit Me. I've talked about that in my other video. That's an awesome um, concealer too. If you're in the market for one, it's great. Um, I've been using it for years. Um, I actually, I think I'm out of mine, so I gotta go run to the store and pick up another one. And next I'm gonna talk about blushes. Oh my god. Okay, so one of them I actually just tried out today and made a big mistake with it. And it is the new Wet n Wild Color Icon Blushes. And, then, and I have the shade Pearlescent Pink. It looks like this. Um, this is a beautiful blush. It's got some sheen to it, but it's not chunky. Like some like blushes that have like glitter or sheen to them can be kind of chunky. This one is not and it's extremely pigmented. I made the mistake this morning and dipped my brush into it and then just put it on my face and I looked in the mirror and I was like I look like a clown. <laughs> I was like great but listen if you are looking for a great blush that's cheap and very pigmented this one oh my god takes the cake I'm going to get all the other colors and the next blush I wanted to mention is the Milani um, powder blushes and I have the shade T Rose this is an awesome blush um, I use this all the time I've been using it for actually years now I wish I had these when I started in makeup because this this is such a perfect color for a young girl it's not too muted but it's not too bright. I think um, if you were just starting out, this is an awesome one to pick up. 
Okay, and next we're going to talk about mascara. I used to use this when I was younger, and then I stopped, and then, uh, I don't know, I, I saw it, and I picked it up, and I remembered how much I loved it, and it is the Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal Mascara. I loved this as a kid. Um, I thought it made my lashes so big and so fluffy, and now, since I'm high maintenance and I wear fake eyelashes, it, like, I'm like, eh, but it's still really good. If you're starting out, I totally recommend this to you. And next we're going to talk about lipsticks. Um, Maybelline takes the cake, in my personal opinion, for the best drugstore lipsticks. The way they smell, the way they feel, the color selection, everything. I have three of them right here, and I have... which ones do I have? I don't even know the names of these, but I have three of them. And I've used the, these guys for years, especially these two. Um, I think the formula on these is great. They're pigmented, they don't over dry your lips, and they have a bunch of different colors. And next we're going to move on to eyeliner. Now you guys know which one I use all the time if you watch my videos. It is the NYX Black um, Noir Black Liquid Liner. I love this. It is so, it's so black. It just, and it stays on your lid. I've had liquid eyeliners that I'll put on and I'll go out and it'll be smudging in like the corner right here you know where um, where you could like tear up because when I laugh really hard which I do quite often um, I tear up in the corner and it kind of bleeds a little bit and I've had several liners do that to me this really doesn't do that and I was so impressed because I couldn't find anything that did not do that and now I found it and I think I'm in love like seriously and last but certainly not least, we have eyeshadows. Now, Maybelline makes these awesome quads. I have this, the one Mocha Motion, and I love this quad. I actually still use it. Um, it's a very pretty quad. They have quads that have, like, bright blues and bright purples and greens. They have every shade you could friggin' imagine. Um, I really do... I really do recommend this because some girls like to put on a little bit of eyeshadow, and these, um... They're not crazy pigmented, but they do blend very nicely. And for like an everyday look, I, in my personal opinion, this palette honestly would be great. This little quad. Alright guys, that is it for this video. Um, let me know if you want to see more talk-throughs like this. I like doing talk-throughs. Um, granted, you know, they're a little harder than voiceovers, but you know, you need some variety. Anyway, I'm going to go hose myself off or something because... It is hot as hell in New York today. If you're in, if you live on Long Island, you know that it's like 90 degrees today, and I'm like sweating my ass off. It is hotter than Satan's armpit in my house. My dad needs to put in the friggin' AC. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna go chill out outside. I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm gonna try to get a, another video up uh, sometime this week before Memorial Day. I do have plans for this weekend, but I'm going to get a video up. All right, guys. Um, I will see you in my next video. Bye.